in previous video uh, we have uh, seen up to average rate of reaction uh, now uh, i am going to discuss uh, instantaneous rate of reaction instantaneous rate of reaction instantaneous uh, uh, rate of reaction refer to the speed of reaction at a particular instant during the whole course of reaction the whole timing up to which uh, the reaction is taking place during this whole time at any particular instant of time if we take any particular instant of time and then calculate the rate then it would be referred as instantaneous rate of reaction so uh, it is rate of reaction at particular instant during the course of reaction this is what called as instantaneous rate of reaction um in the case of average rate of reaction what the expression uh, we have seen is uh, like this r average is equal to delta c by delta t plus minus this delta c represents the change in concentration of the reactant or the product while the delta t represents the time interval the time interval for which we are calculating the uh, average rate of reaction but for r instantaneous if we are want to calculate instantaneous rate of reaction for this we have to take delta c Uh, sorry we have to take del c by del t it means this delta t will convert into delta uh, t will convert into dt it means the time uh, interval which we have taken over here if this time interval tends to zero means the interval is so small so small that it is tending to zero then it will become a particular instant then in that case we will put dt over here and here dc so it uh, in this manner we will uh, get the instantaneous rate of reaction Uh, so we can say that uh, instantaneous rate of reaction is the rate of reaction which is considered uh, for a very 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 small time interval and that small time interval over here is dt uh, yeah uh, we can also say that uh, when delta t approaches to zero it tends to zero then at that time uh, the rate of reaction will be called as instantaneous rate of reaction so when delta t tends to zero our instantaneous in rate of reaction which will uh, which we will be calculating is for particular instant of time and it will be calculated as dc by uh, dt and again plus minus sign would be present over here moving ahead we will see the graphical representation for both average rate of reaction and uh, instantaneous rate of reaction on x axis uh, we are taking time over here and uh, on this y axis we are taking concentration of uh, reactant here concentration of reactant is taken we all know that uh, as the time goes on as the time lapses the concentration of reactant would continuously decrease and so the graph would be in this manner it will run in this manner because according to time the concentration of the reactant is decreasing uh, let's suppose when the time is t1 then at that particular instant 
the concentration is C1. The concentration is C1. When time become T2, when time become T2, then the concentration of the reactant changes, it decreases and became C2. In the same manner, when the time became T, then again the concentration changes and it became C. So we are seeing at various time interval, the concentration of reactant is uh, continuously uh, decreasing. Now, uh, if uh, we will take this much part of the graph, this much part of the graph represent delta R. This part of the graph is representing delta R. It means change in concentration of reactant. And this much part is representing delta T. It means the time in which the change has been taking place. Delta R, change in the concentration of reactant. And delta T, the time duration in which the change has been taking place. So this will be giving, what is this? Then this will be called as R average. This is R average. It means this is uh, average rate of reaction. And it would be equal to minus delta R by delta T. And here delta R means change in the concentration of the reactant and change in the concentration is C2 minus C1. It is equal to C2 minus C1 and delta T is equal to T2 minus T1. T2 minus T1 and this whole would contain a negative sign with it. So this is the graphical representation of the concentration of the reactant and time. And according to the time, we are saying that concentration is continuously decreasing. And for calculating the average rate of reaction uh, with the help of graph, uh, we will find firstly take delta R and then we will take delta T. And this part of much this much part of the graph is representing uh, representing uh, the average uh, rate of reaction. This much part is giving the average rate of reaction. Now, if we will be plotting the same uh, graph, but uh, here uh, we will uh, take the concentration of product instead of concentration of reactant, then what would happen? So once more y-axis, x-axis, here time is being taken and in this axis concentration of product is taken and according to time, as the time lapses, the concentration of the product decreases and hence the graph would go in this manner. Continuously, according to time, the concentration of the product is increasing. So, with time, as the product is increasing in concentration, so the graph will run in this manner. Let at the time T1, the concentration of the product, it is C1. Time became T2. So the concentration of product increases and let it become C2. Again, the time changes and it become T. When the time became T, then the concentration changes and it become C. So graphically, we are uh, seeing that as the time is being changing, the concentration of the product is also been changing and it is continuously increasing. Now, if uh, we will take this much part of the graph, if we will take this much uh, part of the graph, then this much part of the graph is representing the change in concentration of product. This much part is representing change in concentration of product and this much part is representing the time in which the change is taking place, delta T. So this would be, this part of the graph would be representing, this would be 
representing again the average rate of reaction and it would be equal to delta p by delta t and here delta p is equal to c2 minus c1 and delta t is equal to t2 minus t1 so um, this is what uh, the graphical representation for average rate of reaction um, according to the change of concentration of product and uh, the above one is the graphical representation. I mean to say this graph is representing the average rate of reaction according to change of concentration of reactant. And this graph is represent uh, representing the average rate of reaction according to change of concentration of product. Now if we want to see uh, once again the graphical representation uh, but for instantaneous rate of reaction. So this axis is representing the time here, concentration of reactant and uh, according to time, the concentration of reactant is continuously decreasing. Um, here, if we want to calculate uh, the instantaneous rate of reaction, then for that, we have to firstly consider a particular instant of time for which we want to know the rate of reaction. Let's suppose that particular instant is T2. If that particular instant is T2, then what we will do, we will draw a tangent at T2 on this graph. We have to draw a tangent over here. A tangent is drawn and this tangent which is drawn over here will represent the instantaneous rate of reaction. This much is dr, this much is dt and uh, this part is r instantaneous and it will be equal to dr by dt. In the same manner we can see the graphical representation for the instantaneous rate of reaction by taking concentration of product on one axis and time on another axis. So these are the four uh, graphical representation uh, for uh, average and instantaneous rate of reaction. Now coming towards the unit of rate of reaction uh, it would be equal to mole uh, per liter per second but if the reaction uh, is involving gases means the reactant are gaseous then the unit will become uh, atm per second uh, so these are the unit for the uh, rate of reactions if, if the gaseous reactant are there then atm per second will be used otherwise we will use mole per liter per second